Welcome back to All Seasons Channel. Today, Cameron and I are going to be changing this cable on a BAL slide room. How do we know it's a BAL slide room? Well, let me show you. Uh, yeah, there it is, right down there. Lower left corner, right under that chain. BAL. So these folks uh, were camping a few weeks ago and they went to bring the room in or out, I'm not sure, and loud noise and something happened and they had somebody kind of stick it together and they was able to get the room in or and then uh, get home but now the, the cable just got all boogered up I'll show it to you later and uh, so we're just going to change that bad cable and put a new cable in and hopefully this one goes smoother than the last one that I videoed so hey right now would be a great time to give this video a thumbs up and uh, here we go man we're gonna get started Y'all hang on. The cable that's bad is over there on that end of the room. It's on the top, and it's the cable that pulls the room in. So that is going to be the, let me get you in frame here. So that's going to be the, the end cable. That's going to be the top one. So uh, that's the one we're going to take loose. We're going to verify that that's the cable that we're working on after we get this one loose. And then we'll just uh, go from there. Cameron's gonna try and get some video of this. If it's not good, it's not his fault. It's just a bad place to, to try and video. Just holding the cable with a little pair of vice grips and spin that nut off. So here's our brand new cable. Cable, adjuster, Chinese finger, the crimp, the furl, crimp on the end of the cable. How the end of the cable compares to the old one. I wasn't there originally, so yeah, it's quite a bit shorter. Well, I don't know, it's probably about the same. I don't know what happened, but anyhow, the cable got damaged pretty bad. My 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 videos are getting to be blooper videos anymore. <laughs> All right, actually, I was wrong. Not the top end; it's the top out. And just I had a brain fart. Um, so anyhow, we got the correct cable loosened up, and uh, now we are going to start changing it out. So here's the other end of that cable. We're going to cut this end off. When you buy that new cable, you get a Chinese finger thing to put on the, the end of the old cable and the end of the new cable. Let's see if I can get some light. Oh, there we go. Um, so you put the, the two pieces of cable together with this Chinese finger thing. And in theory, didn't work out last time, but in theory, you should just be able to pull the new cable in with the, by pulling the old cable out. So I hope this goes smoother this time because that was a bit of a pain last time. There's, a, there's what happened to that cable. I don't, I don't know. It just got wadded up in the room or something. It uh, kind of damaged the roof up there. And uh, see, I don't know what happened. But anyhow, we're going to fix it. I'm going to cut this end off. We're going to clean this cable up with some uh, some rubbing alcohol. And um, hopefully our Chinese finger thing will stick better than it did last time. And the cable will come through more better. Okay, Trish says i got to look at the camera more. So here's for you, Trish. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to get started. Don't know how much of it will video, actually. But we'll try and get what we can. Okay, so I'm going to take my cutters are especially made for cable and I'm going to cut this end off it's right under the couch <laughs> it's right under that edge or somewhere so like I said we're going to clean this up with a little bit of alcohol make sure there's no grease or sweat or anything else that might be on that cable watch out for that frayed part up there because that really hurts the new cable Of 
There's the new cable. Where's the end? Where's the other end? It's got to be there somewhere. Oh, there it is. Y'all probably saw it and you didn't tell me where it was, did you? Thought it'd be funny, hmm? Y'all sadistic. Good job. Alrighty, we're gonna give this to Cameron and let him just unroll it down through the camper. I'm gonna, ooh, that does feel greasy. So yeah, I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna clean this end of this cable up real good, the new cable. Just like so. Let that dry a few minutes. So I'm going to take and slide the uh, what's it called? A cable gripper. How about that? We got a little piece of cable trying to come, kind of trying to shoot through the side of it, or trying to slide it on. Yeah. There's one little one little string of that cable that keeps wanting to go through the side of the cable gripper. It wants to stick me in the finger. I know what it wants. I hate to put a piece of tape on that end, but I think I'm gonna have to. I'm just gonna wrap one round of tape on the end of that cable. Keep that that end from trying to fray on us. Well, after we drop the tape, we drop our cable gripper. It is hot in this camper today. I am sweating profusely. Can't tear the tape off. My hands are so sweaty. Pull it. Of course, my knife's dull too. Okay. Let me see that rag again. I've got sweat all over this thing. Okay, let's see how it works now. Oh yeah, that works much gooder. You have to push this thing, you can't pull it. All right, we're real close to halfway that time. Now, I'm gonna put a little bit of tape up here. Just a little, because the more tape you put on it, the bigger everything gets and harder to get through those pulleys. Okay. Now we are going to slide our new piece of cable, our new cable up in this end. And there we are. The two pieces of cable, the old and the new, are touching each other. Put a little bit of tape on this end. Okay, now, if this goes smoother than last time, we'll be able to pull this right through. Cameron, if you'll just kind of pull that direction right there. All right, Cameron's gonna start pulling the 
old cable. I'm going to guide the old one and the new one through. Oh, it just goes through two pulleys. Yeah, it's just, just going through that one pulley. Let me see it like this. In here, it goes through a pulley and goes right here and goes through a pulley and it goes through the mechanism. So this is probably probably the shortest cable on the room. <laughs> um, they give you this this cable that you buy is uh, is one size fits all. This this should fit every room mechanism that BAL makes. Um, so this cable is rather long. So we we'll end up we we'll end up just using probably just about six feet of it or something. Um, it did seem like it got stuck in this going this through this one pulley here. So I'm gonna see if I can kind of help it, and if not, we might have to do something else. So try it, camera. No, put the pliers on. And if, if you pull it apart, it ain't no big. It's just two pulleys. So. Alright, Cameron's a pulling. Just don't cut yourself on them brad nails. It's it's that stuck, huh? No? Oh Yeah, you got her. You got her, man. You got her. Just keep pulling. All right, we're just going to keep pulling now until we get to this other end. Huh? Yeah. Oh, that's, this is that's all cable. that's all it is. That's all That's, that's all longer. I thought this was the new cable. Ah, <laughs> that's the new cable now. Okay, hold up just a second. All right. Well, that went well. Let me see if I can show y'all where let me see if I can show you where the this this end of the cable hooks on the room. I don't know whether you can see or not. See that bracket right there? There's a hole there and it slides right over. Okay, Cameron, go ahead and take up the slack. Yeah. Just like that. A little rubber grommet goes in that bracket to keep that cable from just sliding over and unhooking itself. Let me see here. It just goes right there in that hole just so the cable can't slide out and just fall through the hole. So in that kit, they give us a new eye bolt. You know, these cables, of course, were made at the factory, you know, to fit, to fit, you know, each individual room. But they just give us an eye bolt so that we can uh, put the, uh, put our cable through that eye bolt so that's how it's one size fits all and I don't even think you can order uh, I don't even think you can order a cable uh, for a specific room I think I think no matter what you have to just buy a one size fits all replacement cable if something happens to one of your cables on your BAL slide room Before you put your cable through your eye bolt, you need to go ahead and slide your furl, which we will crimp here in a minute, on the cable, like such. Then put your cable through the eye bolt, and then you put your other end of the cable, I know y'all can't see, put your other end of the cable through the other side of the furl, just kind of pull everything at once. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna let Cameron put as much preload on this cable as he can. He's gonna pull on the tail that we're gonna end up cutting off. 
while he's doing that I just barely got this nut started on this eye bolt and uh, I'm gonna, once he pulls tension on the cable I'm gonna slide this furrow up as far as I can and then I'm gonna mark that cable uh, with a sharpie and then we'll pull it all out of here outside where we can get to it and uh, make this crimp so Cameron if you want to go ahead and pull all right and I'm gonna slide this furrow up as far as I can and I'm gonna mark mark this cable very boldly right like that okay Cameron now we are going to take the adjuster nut off this eye bolt like that and we're going to pull this out here where we can get to it i'll set the camera up and see if uh see if i can show you that but it's going to take it's going to take all four of uh me and cameron's hands to do this so there you go trish i'm looking at the camera again so it's cameron look at the camera look at the camera camera run okay all right trish you happy Trish is my sister-in-law. She's my favorite sister-in-law. Do you like that, Trish? And uh, so that's why I'm picking on her a little bit. She said, you got to look at the camera more. I'm like, but I'm ugly. Nobody wants to look at me. She said, you got to look at the camera. So, all right. So we're looking at the camera more. So we're going to find our marks here. Try our best to line them bad boys up. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. Hold, hold that, hold this for me. Both of them. Okay, I need to see the mark. Okay, okay so we got that pulled down as far as we can pull it down. I'm going to put my, my crimping tool on there. Uh, in theory, I'm going to put my crimping tool on there. Was that the wrong one? 316s. Oh, yeah, it's the very end one. Okay. Oh, we slipped. Okay. Tell you what, let's tape them together. Oh, it's at the end. Yeah, it's fine. All right. I can see my marks as long as you don't get your fingers down there too close and rub them off. <laughs> <laughs> Just to help us hold this, I'm going to put a little bit of tape on this, try and keep those marks lined up because I, I don't want the cable to be too long or too short. I want it to be just right. It's actually the other one we did, that last one we did, the, uh, the cable actually ended up just a, you're still going to have to hold it, but I'll tell you what, here, do this. Just try and hold it real good there. Keep that about my way there. Yeah, okay. Still slipped a little bit. Okay, Cameron's going to try his best to hold that right there and I'm going to crimp it. You're going to have to hold that yeah. with the other hand. Push it down as far as you can. I'll just push on the top of it so I can get the... Oh. There it is. Yeah, something like that. Push it down further if you can. Okay. I'm telling you people, this takes... I'm sorry. This takes all all four hands to do this is just an awkward position to try and crimp one of these one of these furls up here you know neck height let me look at the lines real quick move your finger i don't know you gotta rub the one off <laughs> it's oh, i can see it it's it's there yeah it's gonna be i can see a little bit <sighs> Okay, once you get the first cr crimp, you're pretty good. Probably gonna get a total of four, I mean three. 
Not four, three. And I'll show you what it looks like when we get down here. Okay, and I know I was probably all up against my mic, and it was probably really noisy for y'all when we was crimping at, but I'm sorry. We got to get our job done, and once we get our job done, then we can worry about video a little bit. Here's what the crimp looks like when you get done. It's an aluminum furl and you know stainless steel cable, and they do pretty good. They don't, they never move. So uh, we're gonna just double check this, make sure it goes in the. Uh, in the adjuster bracket okay and if it does then we're going to cut all this extra cable off because we got that much extra cable okay let me set you back up on top of the room and uh, we'll make sure everything fits good <laughs> we hope so I mean, it wouldn't be the end of the world we can always cut that furl off and I've got plenty of furls so I mean we don't want to do that but just want to make sure so here's our new cable and yep, it'll be tight, but that's awesome. We can make that work. So I'm just gonna cut, I'm gonna cut this tail off. I'm not gonna show you that. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. When you're adjusting these cables, all you try and do is get about the same kind of tension in, in all the cables. So at this point, we are going to try to run the room in and out and see what it does after we got all the cables on we realized that pulley over there which we have not Cameron will put his hand on it so you can see it that pulley right there we have not disturbed that pulley but these two cables I think they have changed positions in that pulley so we're gonna loosen these two cables up again and see if we can get them to to trade places in that pulley uh, because I just don't think that's going to work because these cables have to have some separation between the in and the out brackets here in order to work I don't know if I don't know if that when that cable got wadded up if if that's when that happened or something but uh, we haven't had both cables out of that pulley so that's not something that we've allowed to happen so, yeah, it must have happened when that cable got wadded up. I didn't know it. I didn't realize it until we get all the cables in and start adjusting them. So we're just going to take some of this bracket apart and around this pulley here. See what we can do. These must be black bolts.
up on the ladder. Just put a little tension on them two cables. Just kind of down. Okay, so we got that. We got them cables switched in that bracket. Like I say, that that's had to have happened when whatever happened that cable, and it got all wadded up. Must have. They must have changed places there or something. Or maybe it was like that from the factory. I don't know. All right, did any of that make sense? Because what we don't want to do is have these cables here crossing each other. Because there is not any room here to begin with. No extra room, that's for sure. Okay, oh, you guys fell down. Okay, we got the cables. Uh, put back where they belong. I'm gonna make the adjustments now and uh, then I'll sh I think I'll be able to show you why Why we did what we did this one up here. I measured before we started. I know there was about an inch of um, Adjuster bolt sticking out of the adjuster nut and this one down here The adjuster bolt was just about even with the end of the nut so I'm just putting this one back where it was when we started. This is the, not the one we put the new cable on. Alright, this should be about right. And they look about right. And now we need to adjust this one. This is the one we did replace. We just kind of need to make it match the uh, tension of the other one that's on this same bracket. That's a good place to start. Probably about like that. Now, you guys have to get out of the way because we're going to run this room in and out and see how it looks. Let me get y'all to get out of the way so you don't get squooshed. I'm just going to be watching everything up here, make sure everything looks cool. You know what, actually the first thing I'm going to do is go over and just make sure I haven't left anything on top of that room. Alright, nothing but sticks and leaves up there, and I didn't leave those, so I got all my tools. Alright, uh, Cameron is going to go ahead and run the room in. Okay, Cameron, in. cable has a little slack in it but that's not all that uncommon we may we may try and adjust a little bit of that out just because I don't want that to be an issue in the future and don't look like there's gonna be a whole lot of adjustment on that one so we'll see what it looks like when it goes out uh, we're gonna measure we're gonna go out and look at the room make sure it's square so we're just looking to make sure the room looks fairly square and it does on this end Let's we'll see about the other end, see if it looks the same. And it looks very good. All right, now Cameron is going to run the room out and we're going to watch it do the same thing. So the, so the bottom out cable looks okay now. See the, the bottom, bottom end cable has some slack in it on this end. Everything, those brackets past each other okay and all that stuff. So now we're going to make sure it looks square on the way in. You can't really see where it matches up. I'm just going to just going to check it with my hand here. Both ends. It's, it's got to be really close. 
so let's uh, bring the room in a little bit Cameron we may we may adjust that one cable a little bit Watch these brackets right here as they pass. Uh, I mean, there's practically no room there for those things. They almost touch. Even in a perfect world, they almost touch. Light was actually killing me. So the bottom out cable, we may adjust just a little bit. All right, back out camera. And without the flashlight glare, and I'll show you. So there's our out bracket, there's our in bracket, and there's another, there's the same thing on that end. See how, see how close they run together when they're, when the room's going in or out? Um, so yeah. Okay, camera stop. Okay, I'm gonna adjust that bottom end cable a little bit and the bottom out cable just a little bit. I'm not gonna get crazy. Probably a quarter inch on both of them. We're gonna try it again. Uh, but I'm gonna cut this camera off for right now uh, while I'll just make those adjustments and then we'll be back. All right, we made all our final adjustments. We put our little foam blocks back on here. I guess these little foam blocks, the only thing I can figure is they keep those nuts from backing off. Um, you know, cause like I say, when you, when you got the room out or in, some of those cables have a little bit of slack in them. So I think the little foam blocks just keep the, keep the nuts from unadjusting. So. Uh, we're going to let Cameron come in here in just a second and we're going to run this room all the way in and out again and then we're going to put our fascia board back on and we'll be done. Cameron's going to run the room in and out one more time. Tell you what Cameron just finished going out. Alright come in. camera go out just go all the way out camera all right. okay there you have it there's replacing your cable on your BAL slide room one thing we got left to do is put the fascia back up you've seen that a hundred times just use a brad gun so um as always thanks for watching and uh don't forget to give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and uh, leave us a comment and we're gonna go down the road and fix another one and y'all have a great day